We turn next here tonight to our cover story and Governor DeSantis now says he's going to sign a bill that will scale back the state's law that allows those book bans in public schools. Capitol reporter for Saunders is here from Tallahassee tonight with what it now means for parents and students. Over the last year, efforts to restrict books in Florida's public schools have made national headlines. We've seen parents and others in front of school boards pushing for removal of material that they find objectionable. But now this bill could make that effort harder. Over the last year, you might have seen tense Florida school board meetings like this. He reached to take off his her pants, but she started crying really hard. Groups like Moms for Liberty reading book excerpts they found objectionable, taken from K-12 through public school libraries, and then demanding restriction under Florida law. We still have 87 that are objected to left. You have our list. In the last school year alone, First Amendment advocates at PEN America found Florida had more than 40% of the nation's book ban cases, about 1,400 of them in total. The state says it all resulted in nearly 390 books removed from Florida shelves. But Monday, Florida's governor vowed to sign a bill that would reel in the state's high number of book challenges. Let's stop playing games with all this. Let's make sure that we get to education, not indoctrination. HB 1285 does a lot, but among its provisions, capping the number of books non-parents can challenge, limiting it to one per month. So basically, if you don't have a kid in the school district, you can challenge one book per month. And I think that will help short circuit these frivolous challenges because it's being done to create a narrative that somehow, oh my gosh, all these books are, are quote, banned. No book is banned in Florida. The governor helped make the original law a reality, and though he says, quote, activists are driving up those challenges, his critics say this is exactly what they warned would happen. What we're hearing and what we're finding out is they're challenging books they haven't even read. State Senator Lori Berman is happy the limits are happening, but says the caps don't go far enough. She didn't expect much would change as parents would still have no limits to what they want gone. There were some other ideas thrown around, including having a $100 fee for the person who brought an unsuccessful challenge. And I think that would have been a better way to handle it and would have uh, led to less frivolous challenges. The next step is for DeSantis to actually sign the bill, which could come as soon as Tuesday. After that, provisions come online in July of this year. Whether it'll have a big impact on Florida's book challenges is still unwritten. Another controversial aspect of this bill is that it would also create new standards for those who want to teach at one of Florida's 18 classical charter schools, which have been criticized for having a curriculum that's too conservative. Those who don't like this aspect of the bill are worried that it's going to lower standards for those educators. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.